everybody, and welcome to the final episode at EMS World Expo 2011 in dry Las Vegas, is what I want to say right now, because my throat is killing me, my hands are chapped, um, I, think the, I think the relative humidity is like, I don't know, minus 0. 0.5. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, minus two. You actually are putting, hum you're actually putting uh, water into the air when you're here. Um, I'm coming to you live today from the Sudden Cardiac Arrest Foundation podcast studio, and this episode is sponsored by Zoll. So I'm going to introduce our guests real quick. First, we have my co-host, the lovely Scott Keir. How, How are, are you? you? I'm, I'm doing great, Chris. Right on. A little, a little dry, but, right. I'm, but I'm good. Uh, well, I, I hear you. But uh, <laughs> also joining me is Miss Nat Quibb. Nat Quibb. The Natalie Quibbido. How are you? The Natalie Quibbido, yes. You are? I'm great. How are you? Good. You're not going to have a problem with water where you're, where you're going to. Apparently not. Yeah. 20 I'm... inches of flooding. That sounds like fun. Yeah, lots, yeah. Of, lots of fun. Sorry, I always talk about the weather on my show. I don't know why. It's, <laughs> it's one of those things. It's just one of the pleasantries of EMS Garage, the weather. That's right, the weather. It's like the weather channel. Logos on the eights. All right. And also joining us today is Mr. John Cloutier, Hi guys. who is uh, my neighbor, practically. Yeah, yeah. Right down the street. Absolutely. Kind of, in Colorado. Anyway. In the, I agree. It's very dry. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> so John is from Zoll. And yeah. tell us uh, your title at Zoll. Yeah. Uh, so I'm John Cloutier. I'm the EMS marketing manager for Zoll. Okay. And uh, I do some product development work. And so we're here to talk about some new products. Very cool. Well, you brought one here today. Tell us all about it. So I'm really excited about yeah, it. Yeah, me too. This, uh, what we're going to talk about is a CPR yeah, dashboard. Uh, to provide compressors or the rescuers who are on a cardiac arrest real-time CPR feedback, compression to compression. So I'm happy to walk through this with you and yeah, give you absolutely. a little demonstration. Okay, okay. great, okay. <laughs> so uh, CPR dashboard, we just received uh, approval for this last week and we've launched this at EMS Expo here in Las Vegas. And what it's designed to do is to provide the uh, rescuer real-time CPR compression feedback. Okay. So a couple of things on the screen, you'll notice uh, ECG waveform, right? And so prior to this, if you and I did compressions or cardiac arrest, we would see a lot of motion artifact on the screen, we'd have to stop CPR, right. and there's that detrimental delay in uh, perfusion. So now what this has is what's called see-through CPR as part of this whole uh, technology. So as we're doing compressions, I'll just start doing some compressions here, you'll notice that it filters out the motion and gives you a true underlying rhythm. Wow. Okay. The other things that you'll notice here are a bar graph indicator, so it shows you the right depth, at least two inches per the Heart Association guidelines. Here, uh, it also shows a quantitative value, so it shows you actually I'm doing 1.2 inches, which it's red, so it's saying push harder. So as I press harder, it's self-correcting, and now it's at two inches. The and rate, I love that the rate's right there, too. The That's rate great. is there also. So apparently I'm too slow, so if I speed that up, it corrects. Okay, so real-time CPR feedback. The other thing you'll notice is a release indicator. So remember the Heart Association says press hard, press fast, fully release, and reduce interruptions or unnecessary interruptions. So with the C, uh, CPR dashboard, press hard, press fast, fully release, and then lastly, the perfusion performance index box is meant to be a graphic uh, visualization of what should be good coronary perfusion. So if I'm doing the right rate, right depth, with full release, you'll notice the PPI or perfusion performance box filling up, which represents visually good coronary perfusion. Lastly, you'll notice a CPR countdown timer. So per protocol, if you're doing two minutes of compressions, it counts down. So the compressor can see actually how long they're on the chest for. Okay, so now we're down to seven seconds. We've got good perfusion performance. And at time zero, it prompts us to check the ECG. It's shockable, charge it, shock it, and get back on the chest. And now we've reduced that interruption to two to three seconds. Oh, that's really cool. Now, does that data, can I take that data too and import it in? Absolutely, Very so nice. the E-Series records all of that data. You can download it after the call, post event to RescueNet code review and see beat by beat, compression by compression. Very nice, yeah. wow. So, uh, so you said you just got approval, what does that mean? So this is a, a, a medical device, it's regulated and governed by the FDA. So this received the 510K, or the nomenclature in our world, of, of approval by the FDA. So that's, that's why we're launching it here at EMS Expo. Right on. Yeah. So you, um, 
So you said that you're head of product or you're part of product development. Mm -hmm. Some of the, you do some of that. Yep. Are you going to give us any secrets today on anything you got coming? Well, I'll share a secret at our booth. We're also uh, showing RescueNet 12 Lead, our new STEMI oh. management system as well. So cool. it's a beautiful thing. You can get uh, ECGs from any device that can access the internet. Really? And uh, send it to the hospital as long as they have internet access, secured logging credentials. And you can see your inbox, what 12 leads are coming in from the field. And the best thing about this, we're excited to announce to the world that it's free. Wow. Free. That's free. That's, That's now, can I get it on my smartphone? I mean, Absolutely. does it go really? You have an unlimited wow. distribution capability. There's nothing proprietary about the, the uh, ability to mo uh, view it on a mobile device, as long as you have Adobe Mobile. And again, it's an unlimited distribution. So you can send it to your receiving hospital or to an unlimited number of recipients. And from any device. It'll transmit a 12 lead. <laughs> that's incredible. Yeah. Wow, I, uh, that's very innovative. I, I am very impressed. Wow. Well, thank you. Yeah, we're very. And this excited. is cool too. I mean, I love the CPR filter. Yeah. I, I said that not long ago. I was like, man, I wish, you know, that you're wasting so much time off the chest when you're stopping to see. Well, what was that? Was that some like a pressure? Or was that yeah. a waveform? And you're stopping, and that's that's time off of the chest, and that that can't happen. That's exactly. Right. Well, we know that it takes about what nine compressions for blood to begin moving through the coronary arteries. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this has really helped to reduce that interruption time downwards to about two to three seconds. Thanks. Yeah. Scott, what do you think? I it's it's the direction we need to go. I mean, it's it's better CPR. It, it promotes better CPR. Everything that we're seeing now, as you said, is is interruption delays. Absolutely. That's what's hurting us. That's what's yeah. bothering us. That, that's that's one of our shortcomings. And yeah. a product like this that can completely almost eliminate that mm -hmm. is. Yeah. Well, one of the other nice things about this is you notice up top it has a, a CO2 values. Part of this dashboard, by pressing wave two and scrolling through the various screens, whichever one you as a user would like, you can also display your capnographical waveform with your CPR dashboard. Yeah, gonna, you can do it both. Absolutely. Uh. Yeah. So Very there you go. Nice. You get your airway and your circulation. So can you send this via Bluetooth? to like say like your training officer or your medical director so after you finish the code can you transmit this Absolutely. to them well, so what you can do is download the event data to rescue code review okay. it's a it's a zol file that you can easily append to an email like a, an attachment okay. and as long as the viewer has rescue code review um, they can see that exact one so they can give and you the, your feedback and it's all real time too because you can see that entire yeah. That entire event, yeah. uh, I, I love that too. It's, it's yeah. amazing. The one thing that we didn't mention was we've also uh, just, we're releasing Datacom, a new product called Datacom, which makes this device Wi-Fi capable. <laughs> yep. So That's today it has Bluetooth uh, and now it has Wi-Fi capability. So if in the back of your ambulance you have an onboard motion gateway or you want to do patient care reporting, you have the ability to transmit at the speed of at the speed of lightning, basically. So, so you could, so I would assume then you could take that, send that through then the new, very free uh, Rescue. system, RescueNet. Yeah. No, well, RescueNet 12 lead. The RescueNet 12 lead. Okay. So you could send that via the Wi-Fi too. So not today. We've but, just yeah, we've we'll just launched it, right. but absolutely, that's okay. the intent. John Cloutier, yeah. thank you so it's much. A pleasure this is to exciting. see you. Yeah, love it. this is yeah, it's fun. good. And maybe good. someday I'll see you at home, too. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> we, we keep saying this year after exactly. year, don't we? Exactly, I know. We never hook up down in there. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Charlotte, it's a pleasure. thank you so much. And thank you for sponsoring this episode of the, the final episode here at EMS World 2011. So, cool. Our lovely assistant will help you off the stage. Thank you.